So let's try this again. So I got Jack with me now. We do have Cleo. She's wandering around on the floor, but she got really fed up when I picked her up. So we got we got Jack here to talk about some Punisher. The ah, the Punisher. Marvel's problematic anti-hero. I don't know. There's something satisfying about Punisher. It's the fantasy of someone does you horribly wrong and you get revenge. Plain and simple. Punisher is not a complicated character. He's just a satisfying one. You know, just because certain people wear the logo doesn't mean you have to cancel your whole property and get one of your hack writers, Jason Aaron, to just ruin the character. But we'll get to that eventually. But for now, I wanted to start from the very beginning. And where do you start? In this omnibus called Back to War. Specifically, we're going to talk about Amazing Spider-Man 129. Now, this is not long after the death of Gwen Stacy and Norman Osborn. Punisher is hired by the Jackal to kill Spider-Man for murdering Norman Osborn, which wasn't Spider-Man's fault, necessarily. So what you gotta know about this omnibus and most of Punisher's early appearances, they are tie-ins to things. Marvel's continuity was kind of out of control, and this is coming from a guy who loves the Star Wars expanded universe. There's a lot going on, so... Anytime you read an issue out of this, you're going to get a lot of continuity, especially with Spider-Man. For instance, Nor uh, Harry Osborn thinks, is starting to think that Spider-Man and Peter Parker are the same person. And at this point, they're roommates. So that's interesting, I guess. But, yeah. Is this a great story? No. Do I recommend this if you want to start reading Punisher? No. If you have to start from the beginning, then I guess you read Amazing Spider-Man 129. It's very easy to find. In fact, it's reprinted in all sorts of things. I have at least... I have it printed in at least two different collections. I think the other one's the 2004... Punisher movie comic adaptation they reprinted Amazing Spider-Man 129. Every time there's a Punisher movie they reprint this comic for like a dollar. It's not hard to find. No, you don't need to get a first print copy because those are thousands of dollars. Don't bother. Don't bother to do that. This is not a good story. It's kind of meh. Well, would I rank this? A 3 out of 5. Why? It's 70's Spider-Man. To some people, this is good Spider-Man. I'm not one of those people. There are certain great things that happened in the 70s for the Spider-Man character, but overall, I think Spider-Man is kind of meh in the 70s. Uh, I'm more of an 80s Spider-Man guy with uh, his stuff in Secret Wars, that sort of thing. Even not, I take 90s, I take Clone Saga. I know everyone hates that, but... Something I just kind of prefer. Or, I mean, to me, the gold standard for Spider-Man is Straczynski's run up until Sin's past. Then it kind of goes off the rails. But, anyway. I'm not wearing the full Punisher regalia yet. Because this is not necessarily a Punisher story. So, anyway, have a good one.